this is Tracy from Get Basket Appeal, and today I'm using this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Look how pretty this is. And I'm going to be decorating this oatmeal container. So let's get started. I really fell in love with this um, Heidi Swap paper. It's called uh, Sugar, I think it's Sugar Chic or Sugar Chick, whichever one. It's gorgeous. Um, it's a 12 by 12 paper. And I did get this from Tuesday morning is the store. That's where I got it from. So this is actually my first um, specialty paper from this particular brand. So it's, it's really a gorgeous paper. And I said I needed some something for my embellishments, a container, and I wanted to decorate it real nice. So I'm really not sure how this is going to turn out. Uh, I'm going to use Mod Podge, uh, so we'll see how that goes. So this is more than enough paper to cover this, and I think I'm also going to decorate the lid as well. Um, I have enough to cut out part of this and maybe put the matching paper in here, or you can go with another color, or I've seen people spray paint these too, so it's just up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and measure. Just want to make sure that your paper is the way you want it to be. So this is the top part of the flowers. So when I have this on here, I want it to be like, like this wrapped around it. I'm going to go ahead and measure and cut this just to see what it looks like. Now, if you want to get a ruler and cut it, I'm just going to kind of mark it and then just cut. But you can use a ruler if you want to. Okay, so I just marked my paper on the inside right here and here. And I'm going to cut across and that should fit the height of my, my container. Now, if you want to use a, a paper trimmer, uh, you can do that too if you're not comfortable cutting. But I think I'll be okay. Okay, so let's see what this looks like here. And this is a great way to get some of those papers out and decorate your containers. And it's a really fun project. And I really love seeing the whole process of this whole thing unfold. Okay, so look at that. That's going to be really pretty once I get it on there. Now, I thought about taking this off, but when I started pulling this off, some of the other part of the container started to come off too. So I said, let me leave it and just Mod Podge right over it. And as you can see, one of the other things that's going to it'll be a problem is that it doesn't cover it all the way. So I'll probably just take a strip and just go right down the, the side here just to fill it in. So it's really no big deal. And I might I may end up maybe putting some ribbon maybe straight down the sides just to kind of cover it up. So you can do whatever you want with this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get our Mod Podge ready so we could start covering it. The inside of my oatmeal can was kind of dusty. Um, and all I did was I took a very, uh, a slightly damp cloth and just wiped it out. That way my container will still be sturdy. So you have to remember that this is still like paper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just using some uh, Mod Podge and I like the way the Mod Podge would adhere. I thought about hot gluing it to the container and I just don't think that would work very well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take some Mod Podge and just start applying it. And if I need to switch up and use some other type of glue, I will do that. So we're just kind of doing this together. And I haven't done an an oatmeal container before. So this is my first time. So I can only get better at doing this. Okay, so I did cut um, a strip just to kind of um, to fill in that little piece. And I'll probably just go in and overlap it. 
and yeah, it looks like that Mod Podge is really going to do the trick for making it adhere. You get a nice, a nice, uh, a nice stick using that the Mod Podge. So, so that's what I've got so far. And I'm just, I cut it a little bit wider because I do want it to just be able to kind of overlap and go all the way around with this longer sheet. So I just have to kind of make sure I remember how I want this to be. That would be upside down. So I'm going to just turn it this way. And imagine for those of you that like your oats, this container is perfect. And on this, I can use, this is different from the napkins because I can actually use my fingers. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm just using my hand to do this. I'm going to be applying the Mod Podge and pressing it, pressing it on, and I'm just making sure I stay close to the edge. I'm not going to go on here because this is where the lid is going to be, so I actually measured it just below where the lid would go. So that's kind of uh, raised up a little bit, so I didn't want to have to put any uh, paper on there because I really wanted this to stick flat. Okay, looks like I'm going to need a little bit more Mod Podge on there. And I think this is much better because um, than the napkins, it's a lot easier to apply it because it's not as delicate. I'm just taking my hand and smoothing it on there. And just because a paper looks, um, if you have a paper that looks really pretty, you could just use that paper to cover something. You know, and I thought this paper, I could look at this all day long. So I would love to have like some, just some pretty containers for my embellishments. Bend that over just a little bit there. And see, that's that area right there. And so if that's like, if it's bothering you and you don't want to have that on there, you could always take some ribbon and just like maybe go along the side there with it. That's another thing you can do. So like if I was to, if I wanted that covered up, all I have to do is just take some of this and just apply it on here. Kind of looks pretty, doesn't it? And then just, um, just have it stick right on there, just like that. Oh boy, looks like I'm Let's see. I think I like the way that looks. I really like the way that looks. Just have a strip going down the side there. Hmm. See what happens when you start experimenting. So let me go ahead and cut that off. Oh yeah, I'm really liking that. So look how it's already adhering with the Mod Podge. I'm going to just put a little bit of this right in here. And this is, I believe this is the Dollar Tree um, kind of a crochet or crocheted ribbon from Dollar Tree. I need some smaller scissors I should be using. And 
just that quick. Actually, I need some different scissors. Okay, so this is really unplanned, but I am liking the fact that I can use up all of this stuff that I already have in my stash. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And I really like the way that looks. And you could use the, um, the cans. You can do cans like this too. I think I'm gonna do another stripe right here on this side. I should have measured it before, but that's okay. Just kind of having fun here and making this up as I go. This looks really good. And if you wanted, here's another thing you could do is just go over this, over the top with Mod Podge. I don't really want it to have a shiny feel. Um, I don't want it to be glossy, so I'm not going to go over the top with uh, more Mod Podge. But I really love the way this looks. But you could do that. Just put more Mod Podge on top to get a nice shiny finish. But I do want mine to have more of a matte finish on there. And there is a matte Mod Podge, but I don't have any. Okay, I'm going to just put this on the opposite side just so that it will match. And this is working extremely well, this Mod Podge. Okay, and I've got both of those covered up on there. See, and that was unplanned. I wasn't planning on doing that. And look how pretty that looks. And it just looks so pretty with the flowers here. So let me put this aside for a moment. Just checking to make sure that this is adhering really good. And it really is. Okay, so now I have that top and if you wanted you could leave it like this and you already and now you have a pretty container you could do that but for some reason I've been wanting to decorate the outside um, the, the lid of this I don't usually get to do many lids on containers so we just go ahead and go for it so what I did was rather than measuring um, my circle to this. I actually took one of these. You're not going to believe this. I took one of these, um, the spool that holds this, and I just measured it. I held it up close to uh, my lid, and then I just uh, traced it onto the paper and cut it out because I, I'm only. I don't want to come up to the edge here. I only want to come to that inner circle right there. So I figured something that would be close to that size would work. And so I just traced it out and it, it works. And look at that. It's a perfect fit on that inner, the inner part. I wasn't concerned about this part, just that, out, that uh, inner part there. So I'm going to give that a little bit of time uh, to dry because I want to do something else with this. So I'm going to give that a little bit of time to dry, but look how cute that is. If you wanted to stop there, that's it. And you have your little top on there. Look how cute that is. No one would know that it's an oatmeal container. Using what you have and just making it into something really pretty. Okay, so look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry, and then we'll come back, and we'll finish decorating this. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the lid to dry, I decided I'd go along here with just a few pearls. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue. 
It dries fast and it dries clear. Okay, so I kind of wish I had some like really uh, blush pink pearls. I think would look good on there too. And this is a whole pack of flat back pearls that I got on Amazon. Um, and I will put the link below, but these go a long way, especially if you like um, decorating with pearls. Okay, so I think this is the perfect size for this. And I also could use my hot glue gun. It'll make it go a little bit faster. So I'm not going to go too close to the edge here because I know we have to put the lid on. And to pick these pearls up, I am using the We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick Tool. And so many of you have asked me about this handy tool right here. Um, I'll also put a link for that below. It just makes it so much easier when you're working with um, small gems. And I think that's enough, just three. Yep. And I'm not being exact with this, I'm just having fun crafting on a sunny afternoon. Took one off of there, huh? Okay. Okay, so this lid, now I have an idea in mind and it may not turn out right. I might end up messing it up. It's okay. But I had I figure I had to try it since the idea was in my head. And you just never know until you try. So I'm gonna make a hole in here. And it may be an easier way to do this, but I'm just going to kind of just take it easy. And because this is plastic, I'm going to make a slight hole. I guess it's more than slight, huh? But that's okay. And I'm going to do one over here. Just watch your hand as you're boring your hole. And I'm just using the tool that I have here. And you see I've got two holes there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this lace. And I thought it would be nice to cut it and somehow string it through those holes. And I may have to make the holes bigger. Um, here's what the lace looks like. And I've used this on several projects. This one is from trying to think possibly Walmart I got this from and that bottom shelving near the ribbons Let's see if I could get this through there I'm just cutting a strip of it let's see if this will work I'm just going to take this other part of my uh, quick stick and just push this right through. No, it's actually staying on. Okay. All right, that's great. And I'm just really kind of making this up, but I wanted to add some kind of lace or maybe tool like ribbon to this just to have that come out of the top there. Just to have something on the top. Let's see. And here's some, this is some tool I have. And I'm really just kind of trying this out. See how it works. And maybe I could slip this underneath here.
just kind of tie this on there so it's secure. And I don't know, I may end up cutting it shorter. I kind of like the way it sticks up. I like uh, how tool just kind of has its, does its own thing and kind of sticks out on its own. And it kind of has a little shabby chic look also. You see how that is? Just punching that hole in there. Okay, I'm going to do something else with this. Okay, so you can cut this down as much as you want. Um, so I kind of like the way it has the um, it has this lace right against the tool. Um, so I kind of like that effect. And the more I cut down, the more the tool will stand up and it won't be floppy. Okay, so I kind of I really like that. And so I'm going to add some flowers to this now that would actually accent this. So let's see. You can take leaves. All those Dollar Tree flowers that I have, where I have leaves, um, I can take my extra leaves, cut them down, uh, put them in here. Uh, let's see what will happen if I do this. See, I'm really just experimenting here. Then I can stick it in there. because I do have a little bit of green in here to play off. So you're just playing off some of your colors. Okay, so I'm gonna just kinda get my glue gun here and start tucking things in. And I, I kinda call this mindless crafting because you're just kinda grabbing some of the stuff. Don't think about it too much because once you start thinking about it, um, it just becomes too too hard. I don't want to think about it. I just want to grab and go, kind of, and see how it turns out. Okay, and I'm going to add some flowers to this. Let's see. I'm going to put some hot glue on here. See how the flower has a little bit of white and just the dusting it pink at the edge. And a tiny bit of beige, or a little bit of yellow. So I thought that would be really pretty. Just gonna kind of stick that on there. Not thinking about it, just kind of doing it. See, I don't even need a whole lot of glue for these to stick in here. And look how cute that is. I'm just gonna take one little flower right here. So imagine you could do this all day long. The nice thing is you're making it your own. You're using whatever colors you're attracted to, uh, whatever colors make you feel happy. You're just making it your own. And these make me feel happy. And I'm just making a home for my embellishments, basically. Okay. That's pretty secure. That's what it looks like on the inside. Just bringing that little... Uh, lace ribbon right through there and now I'm just going to attach it onto the top and look how adorable that is I am really loving this I really love the outcome and so that's what my container looks like I could take my top off. This will make a nice gift idea too. You could actually use this and put some little spa like nail type things in there like to do their nails. Uh, maybe a pretty uh, nail color. Put some cotton balls in here. Uh, just coming up with different ideas that you can do with this. But I am really loving the way this turned out. I hope you love it too. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think about this. Um, and I love your comments because they're so encouraging. Give this video a thumbs up. And I hope that something in this video inspired you. Just go ahead and make your own 
and do your own thing. So thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.